Modern gravity meters can measure g, the acceleration of free fall, to a high degree of accuracy. The principle on which they work is of measuring t, the time of fall of an object through a known distance h in a vacuum. Assuming that the object starts from rest, deduce the relation between g, t and h. Using kinematics equation, we have uh, s equal to ut plus half a t square, so h will be equal to half g t square. Figure 1.1 shows a standard kilogram mass at the surface of the earth and a spherical region s of radius 2000 meters with its center 4000 meters from the surface of the earth. The density of the rock in this region is 2800 kilogram per meter cube. What force does the matter in region S exert on the standard mass? So the force exerted by the region S on the standard mass is equal to GMM over D square, where D is the distance, in this case it's 4000 meters. Now the mass is the density times volume. So we have uh, G, uh, this uh, expression, replace the mass with the density times volume. So we have F equal to 3.911 times 10 to the power of minus 4 newtons. So if the region is oil of density 900 kg per meter cube instead of the rock, what difference would there be in the force on the standard mass? So uh, using the same equation and substituting the density of the density of oil, we have uh, F equal to 1.257 times 10 to the power of minus 4 newtons. So the difference in the force is uh, given by uh, uh, 2.54 times 10 to the power of minus 4 newtons. Such as how gravity meters may be used in oil prospecting. Find the uncertainty within which the acceleration of free fall needs to be measured if the meters are to detect the rather large quantity of oil stated in E. The gravitational force exerted on the mass by a large region of oil is smaller than the gravitational force exerted by a region of rock. The gravitational field strength is the force per force exerted per unit mass acting on the mass place at a point in the field. So the presence of a large pool of oil will create a smaller fuel strength at the surface and can be detected by a gravity meter. So the gravity meter must be able to detect the difference in the gravitational fuel strength uh, by this amount. Which is uh, 3 times 10 to the power minus 4 meter per second square.